We'll try to overload Windows XP Ferrari Edition. This is a Windows system image of Acer's Ferrari 4000 laptop series. So before we begin, I'll just show you a few, few stuff. So for the wallpaper, this is actually a set of 12 plus 3 wallpapers that cycle, cycle by changing the specific date. So we have a wallpaper for each month, at least for 2005. For 2006, we only have, have uh, wallpapers for three, three months. So if I try to change the month and date, it should march, mark uh, to August uh, 18th, oh wait, it's actually October. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay, so this is for October 2005. So if I try to change it to the next year for the February of 13th, it will change to that. But if I try to change it to any month that doesn't have any image, it basically won't do anything. As it, as it doesn't have any image. Then we have the plain screen, screen saver. I can actually even show it. That just shows the brand, the branding of Ferrari with racing cars and stuff. Nothing more, nothing less. And it also shows you a URL to ferrariworld.com. So we will check, it, check that out. until it even loads. So this is an archived uh, page from 2005, I think, and it runs on Flash. So as you can expect, this will pretty much be broken. So nothing more, nothing less for that. Then we have, have Acer's Grid Vista. This is basically a tool that allows you to change transparency, lock it to a grid, and, or put it always on top. So it's always on top, no matter what. And well, for the grid, you just have to set the specific grid and you don't even set it up. Okay, now it should be. So move it to a specific grid and it's locked in. It kind of gets annoying after a while. So I, better, I don't like it in this case. Okay, so we'll try to add a bit more team key team in this case. So we'll add Woodskin, Cursor XP, uh, Logan Studio and Styler. So let me just install all of this for a moment and okay let's begin. So for Cursor XP I'll just use K01 just to fit the red color of the Ferrari itself. Then for the background, we'll extract this and we'll use this. We also have to create this for the Logan screen, actually the background, yeah. Okay, let's apply it. For the blue parts, blame that on Logan Studio. It doesn't, it doesn't manage to change that. Okay, let me back, go back and let's see what else. Yeah, the boot skin. There is a boot skin in here. Let's just install it. So this is a, well, logo of Ferrari and a small racing car from the PIF Manager icon set. I was kind of lazy with that, or actually I wasn't. For the boots, for the boot skin, it's qu quite annoying to to make it right. Otherwise, so you will get lots of glitches and lots of stuff that just doesn't doesn't fit in in this case. You'll see the boot screen uh, on the on the re restart. Okay, so we are all, we are going to install the teams. So we have Styler and Windows Team. Let me just open the specific folder for that. Mm 
now for the uh, for the styler and that should be ready and Norton is already being a uh, not job god damn it okay we have to run the styler Okay, let's apply the team and also apply the font. Okay, that should be great. Then the, the for the toolbar, all wall, wallpaper will keep it as it is. Then we'll drop the shadow. We'll apply clear type. And then we also have to mess around with, with the toolbar itself. And finally, a small preview. So this is a kind of a mix up of Windows XP Vista style Ferrari <laughs> thing, more or less. We also have one more thing to, watch, to change. That's the sound scheme. So I made a mix up of few few sounds just to sh just for well just for fun more or less. It will replace the typical Windows XP sounds with with Ferrari sounds of horns or engine or whatever else. Okay. Also, before I start with the overload, I, there are just two things that I, can, uh, that I would like to show. So for shuffling desktop icons, Acer has like the utility called AMove with, with parameters that you can set to change the, the position of an icon on the desktop. So you can have to take the index for X and Y position and it will change the position of the icon of, on, on the desktop. Then we have this, the display resolutions. So this is uh, running through a panel that has uh, three parameters so for for width height and color so for this virtual machine uh, there are many many resol resolutions as you can see there's only one resolution that has like 16 six, 16 colors that's basically four bit i think so that one was at the beginning if you have seen that's uh, 640 by 480 so this uh, virtual machine also has quite a huge range of resolutions that may also include 2K and 4K, I think. Even though I think that's going, that's not uh, like the actual aspect ratio that you would expect to be. It's not like 16 by 9, it's maybe 4 by 3 or 16 by 10. I honestly have no clue about it, so I'm just showing you the whole range of resolutions that's possible in this case. So you can see how much of pixels you can even have on this. Yeah, and there is also the smallest resolution on this, which is a 340 by 200... No, it's actually 320 by 240, which will be visible by now, after this large resolution goes. And back to the normal. Okay, finally we'll go to the overload to en just end this. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life.
It's not yet done. You only have to see the boot screen at least. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> okay, I didn't expect the blue screen, but okay. Okay, so that should be it. Well, let's see if it's just going to boot at all. Well, let's give that. Well, that's boot on like. 256 colors on the highest possible resolution ever on this thing. So, that's it. Bye.